Hi there, I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. Your Science for Everyone segment is going to feature an answer or answers to this question. Why are plants green? Let's start with sunlight. Sunlight, as we know, if you break it down, is made up of all the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, blue, and violet, of course. But green is also one of the important ones. As sunlight comes close and interacts with a leaf on a plant, here's what happens. The red light, the blue light that is in sunlight, that helps to drive photos photosynthesis that helps to get absorbed by things like chlorophyll, which is the chemical responsible for the photosynthesis. But it's the green light. As it gets to a leaf, it bounces off of chlorophyll. It is reflected by chlorophyll and then right back to your eye. And that is why plants actually appear green. The green light does not help them grow. It's just what we see, what we perceive with our eye. And the reason for this is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a chemical that is made up of many different types of elements and one of those elements is magnesium. That's in the middle. And then nitrogen as another element surrounds the magnesium. And here's the situation. There's nitrogen in all things life, in the air and in the sky and sometimes in our water. Nitrogen being a key component of chlorophyll is also in fertilizer. It's also in dog waste. So if you apply fertilizer to your lawn, that nitrogen get up, gets absorbed by the plants and the plants will turn a darker shade of green. Why? Well, more chlorophyll in those leaves. And if there's more chlorophyll, more of the green light gets reflected. And that's why plants appear darker. The same thing can happen when dogs go to the bathroom. Dog waste, our waste, human waste actually has nitrogen. It's called nitrogenous waste in it. And so when you see dogs going to the bathroom in certain areas, it's the nitrogen in that waste that can help stimulate the plants to grow, stimulate more chlorophyll, and bounce all that green light off and right to your eyes. That's why plants appear darker green. Now, one other thing to remind you as you look out and about, and it is spring with flowers that are coming out. A lot of the earliest flowers that actually pop out of the ground are either yellow or white. And there's a reason for that. Many of these flowers are trying to attract pollinators quickly to help the plants to reproduce. The pollinators that actually do a lot of the first type of pollinating and first amount of pollinating are flies. And so when you have a white and a yellow leaf contrasted with everything else that is still dormant from winter, that helps to attract your pollinators and ultimately cause pollination. That's your Science for Everyone segment. I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller.